Sean has a pretty famous uh, monkey face and now he's going full monkey with the tail. We've got the sail video system mount under his vest with the Hero 10 and we get some video game GTA style shots. And I look even more like a monkey. <laughs> What's up everyone, Sean Murray here. I'm hanging out with my homie, Chris Rogers. You. What's up everyone? Hey Chris, what do we got here? We got the brand new GoPro Hero 10 Black. Two of them. We're gonna shoot some side-by-side -side follow cams. The weather is unreal. We got glossy, glossy conditions, good light. We're gonna get some crazy slow motion shots on this camera. It shoots 4K 120, 2.7 at 240. If you know anything about cameras, you're probably freaking out right now. And um, we're gonna try to do some follow cams into the way, get creative with the shots. give the viewers some uh, action camera tips for when they're out shooting. Absolutely, so the numbers that he just told you, 240 and uh, 2.7, all these different things, you're going, I'm not sure what that means. So maybe you bought a camera, maybe you bought the GoPro, and you're like, I just wanna know how to basically use this. So give us like the top three things, like as far as numbers, like frame rate, uh, your view, as well as, uh, you know, your resolution. Yeah. So. The higher, there's sort of a trade-off. The higher you go in resolution, the lower your frame rate's gonna be. So the cool thing about the new GoPro is it shoots 120 frames at 4K. Now 4K is incredible resolution. Most people don't even need 4K, but the fact that we have it is insane. So the nice thing about this camera, and especially when you're shooting action sports, is you want a high frame rate because you wanna make, you wanna slow it down in post-production because everything happens so fast, everything looks great in slow motion. So we wanna showcase that. So shoot in either 120 frames or 240 frames when you're capturing a lot of action content, you can slow it down and make it look incredible in post-production. Then another tip I always tell people is when you're shooting action sports, especially with the camera, it's a wide angle. Get close to the action, immerse yourself in the action because that's just gonna make the content just stand out a lot more. You're gonna make the viewer feel like they're part of it, feel like they're part of the action. You don't wanna sit on the boat and film the rider all the way back there. Get up close, be safe. If you're not a good enough rider to do it, I would advise you to not do it. But if you feel safe with the person you're shooting, get up in the action or film yourself and get as close as possible. Fill up that frame. And then lastly, when you're shooting around water, it's very important to try and manage water drops. So what I personally do is I usually put a little bit of like dishwashing soap or a little bit of spit, dunk it in the water, and you should be good to go. Yeah, so in between every shot, I see you dunking it in the water. And that Every gives shot. you that nice clean lens nice to clean get lens. those crisp, clean shots. So make sure you're running a high frame rate that allows you to slow it down. The, the resolution, that's just how much detail is in the shot. So 2.7 is kind of where you, if you want to aim 4K, sometimes will bring your frame rates down a little bit. A little bit, but not too much with the new camera. Also, depends what your computer can handle as well. Obvious, yeah, yeah. like if you run an <laughs> older computer, you may want to, if you have a flip phone, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so hopefully that's gonna help you guys out. So let's go hit the water. Let's have some fun. You Never before seen Sean Murray not doing a dry start. Tell me when. In three, two, one, send it.
Sean has a pretty famous uh, monkey face and now he's going full monkey with the tail. We've got the sail video system mounts under his vest with the Hero 10 and we get some video game GTA style shots. And we got the little remote on, uh, on his wrist so he can trigger it, no problem. And I look even more like a monkey. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait. What's up here? Let's uh, test it out. I'm gonna go into a safe area away from everyone before I decapitate somebody. You look, I'm gonna look hilarious using that. Anybody is interested in this? This company doesn't make these ones anymore, but Sean will have another one linked below that you can get off Amazon if you want to check it out. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. I mean, you can use this thing running, walking your dog. It makes anything and everything look awesome. So it makes wake surfing look really cool. I don't know about you guys, but I could use any kind of help to make me look better wake surfing. I'm officially taking the title as the world's okayest wake surfer. Whoa, there it goes. The camera needs to tilt down a little bit So that was a bunch of fun having Chris come out and uh, not only get some great shots, but sharing some good info. So Chris, thank you for stopping by, but just a quick review for you guys. For those smooth slow-mo shots, at least 60 frames a second, and you'll get that really nice slow-mo. Uh, you can bump up to 120 or maybe even 240. You also want to have a, a nice resolution so that you have a crisp and clean shot. So at least 1080, but if you can bump up to 2.7K or even 4K, that's going to give you a really nice looking shot on there as well. And of course, a clean lens. Sometimes I have water drops on the lens, but I'm just running and gunning sometimes, and uh, but just trying to create that fun content 
new videos every week. So thank you guys for watching. If you do have questions or comments below, put those down there. And uh, always appreciate it when you guys like and share because YouTube pushes it out even more. If you don't subscribe currently, maybe consider doing that. And uh, of course, if you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting new videos out. No matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. Peace.